So you can see um, you can turn things on and off and I just turned this sidebar on. Once I turn this on um, I can click it if I want to work with it. I can say I want it on the left, I want it on the right, I can change it um, so it'll go over there. I can change how how big it is. Um, if I click on the sidebar I can choose do I want it to be navigation, links for individual users, do I want to add a, a plus one button that lets visitors recommend pages. There are a lot of things you can add. You can add text, you can add recent site activity that'll just come up, your recent activity, a countdown, you know, site owners, page authors. There are different sidebar choices that you can add and you get those by clicking the plus menu. Um, if you're interested in those I would encourage you just to experiment with them a bit to see um, to see how they work for you. Uh, the other thing is you can edit, oh yeah we talked about that already, uh, but you can edit how big you want it. So if you want it a little bit wider you can change the width to make it bigger. Um, and I'm just going to turn the sidebar off because I, I don't need it. So um, You can have a custom footer so that means at the bottom you'll have some some custom footer. Uh, maybe you want to say edited by Jessica Denton or something. The site width, you can make your site to a certain um, width if you want it to. I usually just use the default for the theme um, because it tends to work pretty well but if you have something specific you want to use by all means please do. Um, so I'm going to turn that custom footer off. One thing I want to look at with you is the horizontal navigation um, because, whoops, I don't want to turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Um, when you turn that on, actually if you click on it, you can edit it, you can add other pages there. So if you click add page, then maybe I want to add ask Jessica a question, okay, and then I click OK to add the page. Watch what will happen. It will come up as a tab here, all right? And let's say I click on it again. I'm not quite done. I can change the way it looks. I can change it to boxes. Maybe I just want it. I don't want the tab look. I want it to look like a box. And so it'll come more away from my page. So you can experiment with the way it looks, too. I happen to like the tab look, so I'm going to do that. If you want to get rid of one of your pages, you click it, and then you just click the trash can. And that's easy enough. Now, let's say you want to add something that's not in your site. You click Add URL. All right, and maybe I want to say, maybe we'll do a Google search. Search the web now. Okay, I'm going to call it that. You can call it anything you want. And then you go to www.google.com. All right, and if you want the link to open in a new window, you can actually make it pop up a new window, which is kind of neat. You just click OK. And then if you want to change the order, maybe I want this one to be first. So I click the up, highlight it, and click up on it. Right, and these are all little skills that you you should learn if you're trying to know how to edit this um, this top horizontal navigation. It will take some time to play with and experiment with, but I do encourage you to use it and get familiar with it. Um, these couple of videos here will at least show you the basics and kind of show you how to you know add pages, add URLs, move them around, move them up, move them down. You might have a whole list of things. Throw them away when you're done with them. Change the way they look a little bit. Okay, and then just click OK when you're done. And we got rid of it and we changed it back to tabs. And then when you're finished with that, you click close. All right, um, and that is all about the site layout. And we're going to click close. And remember, we got there by clicking the gear button and going down to edit site layout. So I hope you have a chance to experiment with that some um, because that will can make a difference um, in the navigation of your site and how easy it is to get to places.